really great performances there. Um, especially during the summertime, they'll have like, they'll set up a really big screen and do free concerts and free movie watch, outdoor movie watching. So there's lots of, here in Austin, we love our dogs so much mm -hmm. um, that they're that. actually allowed to swim in the lake, but oh, people aren't. Wow. Uh, you, a lot of these tours will go out and do bat watching tours and right at sunset, uh, as echolocators to know where they're going and where they're flying. This really high pitch, like, ee, ee, like echoing. Hai teman, berlangganan dulu yuk dengan menekan tombol subscribe dan nyalakan lonceng. Jangan lupa nyalakan caption untuk melihat keterangan dan pasang headphone untuk pengalaman yang lebih baik. Terima kasih sudah mendukung kanal ini agar terus membuat video yang bermanfaat setiap harinya. Selamat menikmati. We're about to go, and they'll probably share a little bit of this on the tour, but we're about to be on Lady Bird Lake. And around Lady Bird Lake, um, there's been a lot of effort to create green spaces um, and to have, there's 10 miles of hiking and biking trail. So you'll see a lot of people right now walking their dogs, running, biking, just along here. Um, so it's a really beautiful area to ride your bike, um, to go all the way around the lake. Um, Further back, you pass by Auditorium Shores or or, or Vic Matha Shores and, and the Performing Arts Center over there. So lots of really great performances there. Um, especially during the summertime, they'll have like, they'll set up a really big screen and do free concerts and free movie watch, outdoor movie watching. So there's lots of cool community things that happen in this area. Big parks over there with like some that are some areas that are off-leash dog parks. Um, here in Austin, we love our dogs so much mm -hmm. um, that they're that. actually allowed to swim in the lake, but oh, people aren't. Wow. Um, <laughs> but no dogs are swimming in the lake right now because we're having issues with blue-green algae. Oh. So it's very dangerous for dogs to swim in this lake right now. Oh. But, um, so you can see some of the algae blooms over there. Um, Just trying to give some depth. Oh yeah, give it all. Um, Keep sharing. But this, yeah, this is just like running along here. So nature, getting some nature in, and there's some really beautiful park parts. And if you take the trail up that way, you'll hit Barton Springs um, and and some really beautiful kayaking there. So you'll see a lot of kayakers um, and people along the lake. And what isn't happening now because we're out of season for it, but. The Congress Bridge is that way, and it's known um, for our 1.5 million Mexican free tail bats. So oh, the, if you've that. seen bat symbols in Austin, it's because we're known by ha for having the largest urban bat population, sort of an architectural, um, they might say all this on the tour, so I'm probably ruining everything. Um, I don't know if they will or not. So. Okay, so it was kind of an architectural accident um, that the way that the, they created spacers underneath the bridge, and what ended up happening is these bats, this maternal population of bats came and found those places, and that's where they have about, so they come up from Mexico, they migrate, um, and they come and they, It's a population of maternal bat, maternal bats, and they all have their pups or their babies mm -hmm. there. And then you can see them over the summer um, and into early fall. So we're right after the season. Um, you, a lot of these tours will go out and do bat watching tours. And right at sunset, all of these bats and there are clouds of them. There are so many of them that the dot, like weather radars dot, will pick up. The, the radars and, and sense it, um, that they all fly out um, from under the bridge in these like, what look like black clouds almost. And we love them, they're, they're not dangerous. People might think of bats as being dangerous, but we don't, they're really not dangerous. They kind of keep to them keep to themselves they eat mosquitoes. and they eat all the mosquitoes oh, so they good. eat so it's one of the reasons why Austin has less of a mosquito issue is because we have these bats mm -hmm. that come they and that eat that. a ton yeah. of our mosquitoes Do they fly into the city? no they really stay along the green area and fly into where there's more like farms or rural area and woods um, so they kind of 
follow the tree lines and they you don't really see them in the city because they they stay together um because they want to stay away from predators um and and where the city is isn't necessarily where all the mosquitoes are that they eat and the bugs and the insects that they eat but they're very cool to see so. are they huge they're no, tiny. so they're tiny, <laughs> tiny. They live oh. in the bridge, so they're probably the mamas are about the size of like a fist. Oh. Yeah, so they're very, very small. Um, you can't. They're they look like very, very, very yeah. tiny birds, um, but they like flap their wings instead of gliding. So you kind of learn how to what they look like versus what birds look like. Um, yeah, and they don't. They don't like. They have a different. They chirp. You can almost hear them chirping because uh, they're the bats are nocturnal um they don't see they they use the what's it called the yeah yeah so they they use their chirping uh, as echolocators to know where they're going and where they're flying so when you go under the bridge um at night you it's just like this really high pitch like like echoing yeah. under the bridge it's pretty crazy I was telling a few of you the last time I went on one of these tours, um, the bats have migrated now, but the last time I was there, they were still here and um, one pooped on me. So oh, lucky. you gotta watch out for those bats too. Some people say that's good luck, but yeah, you know. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Oh, we'll pretend that at least. Would a city like scared when Kobe just broke out and they all say like came from bats and whatnot? Yeah. No, I, I don't think so. I think it, it was something like we know our bats. We know our bats. We know our bats. <laughs> the, the, these bats aren't sold. They're not marketed. They're not captured. We, they're like no one ate it. No, no one's gonna eat the bats. No one's gonna like. They live under the bridge and they fly out. And Austin really loves their bats, so it's not something that we're like. That was not part of like COVID scare in any way, shape, or form. Subscribe ke Bern.id dan jangan lupa untuk mengunduh Pranala App. Untuk video terbaru, kamu bisa klik video di kanan atas dan untuk video rekomendasi bisa klik video di kanan bawah. Terima kasih.